we had done the current and we we had seen that current is equal to q upon t this is this is average current i average is equal to that okay it is q upon t and the unit of charge unit of charge is coulomb okay coulomb coulomb was a scientist so since the unit is after the name of the scientist it is a, a proper noun so it is always written in capitals okay and and time unit of time was was t it is not on someone's name rather it is a symbol so it is written as a small letter and we had seen that this is equal to coulomb the unit is unit is coulomb per meter okay which is also called also called what what is it called coulomb per meter yeah coulomb per second sorry coulomb per second extremely sorry time unit is second so coulomb per second is ampere 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 is another scientist so capital a so unit of current okay so unit of current becomes this fine and we had also seen what happens if i if i am dealing with maybe a small current and now suppose uh, i have an example where i say that say 2 ampere of current is being drawn by a circuit find out the total charge find out the total charge time into current that has passed right that has passed in 10 minutes okay so i know i is equal to q upon t so q is equal to i into t i is to time has to be converted into second so 10 minute is equal to 10 into 60 that is 600 seconds into 2 is 1200 coulombs 1200 coulombs of charge passes just in 10 minutes now why am i saying so because let us try to understand how many electrons will be there in one coulomb right what is the charge on an electron charge on an electron on an electron okay is denoted by e that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs okay now 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb is equivalent to is equivalent to one electron so one coulomb is equivalent to 1 upon 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 electrons correct now if i if i calculate it if i use the calculator what do i get i have i have 1 divided by 1.6 to the power minus 19 it gives me 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons now that's a huge number 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons you understand it is nothing like we know see it's a billion 1 billion is 10 to the power 9 so it is 6.25 billion billions right it's 6.25 billions billion correct 
So I have a heap that contains 1 billion and 1 billion is 1000 billion, right? That's 100 crores. <coughs> 100 crores and how many stacks like that? One stack has 100 crore and how many stacks like, like that? 6.25 billion stacks like that. So it's a huge, huge, huge charge. Okay, that is a huge charge, huge amount of charge, right? But we, but but any any uh, maybe just a just a just a cooler or or maybe a toaster draws that much amount of current. And maybe if you are running it for say 10 minutes, then you have passed some 1200 coulombs through it, and so many electrons. This multiply this by 1200, you'll understand that many electrons have passed while you you prepared a toast for you. Fine. So so that's why that's why I was highlighting this. <coughs> Okay. Okay. And we should also keep in mind that whenever we are dealing with a battery, my conventional current is flowing from from positive oh, terminal negative. to the negative terminal. Okay. Conventional current. Conventional current. And, and we had discussed, right? It moves from positive positive to negative terminal right and the actual direction of current actual direction of current is from the negative to positive terminal okay that is opposite to which is opposite to the movement of opposite to the movement of to the movement of the conventional to the to the conventional direction of current conventional current opposite to the direction of the conventional current we know this much right <coughs> 